Good morning, General Chemistry um, Semester 2. Uh, this is Krause this morning, came to be my audience. So we're going to get started and we're going to talk about buffers. Okay, so what do we do when um, we add a strong acid or a strong base to a buffer? How do we calculate the pH after that point? Well, let's see. Let's take a situation where we have a buffer and let's use acetic acid and sodium acetate and uh, we add sodium hydroxide and uh, HCl to it and see what happens. So we have our general equilibria for a weak acid. I'll call it HA where A can be any conjugate base. In this case A is CH3CO2 in regards to acetic acid. And we know that with water it reacts to give you H3O plus and A minus. Now I'm going to put my states in here because we know that's important for the equilibria expression because pure liquids and pure solids don't go into the equilibria expression when we have a heterogeneous mixture. Okay, so when we add strong base the strong base is going to react with the acid component in the equilibrium, which is HA. And it's going to produce the conjugate base, A minus. So what we have to do after that point is we have to calculate the new values of A minus and HA put it into the equilibrium expression and solve for H plus to determine pH. Okay, that's pretty st straightforward and simple. All right, but what happens when we add uh, H3O plus to our equilibria? Well, H3O plus is going to react with A minus, the conjugate base. Remember, an acid reacts with a base. And that's going to generate HA and a water. So uh, when we get done solving that, again, we're going to have to look at the limiting reagent to, to solve that and to see what our quant new quantities are. Then we're going to, again, do the same thing calculate the new values of HA and A minus and again so, uh, place into the Ka expression and solve for H plus and then of course we know that the pH is the negative log of H plus. All right. So let's look at a general um, problem using this. I'm going to refer to our book, Brown LeMay, because I think it's a very good book. And uh, we're going to look at problem 1727. So if you have your book, look along with me. I'll read it to you. It says uh, a buffer contains uh, 0.1 molar uh, acetic acid and 0.13 of sodium acetate. Sorry, I lost you. There you are. There you are. Anyway, so it says um, what is the pH of the buffer? And then, then we want to look at the pH uh, when we add KOH and nitric acid at separate times. Okay? So let's look at our 0.1 acetic acid and 0.2, uh, 0.12 molar sodium acetate. So we have our expression. See, don't go anywhere. HA plus water going to A minus plus H3O plus. It doesn't matter which product you put for, for first. Uh, they're both products, so it's not really that important. Right? 
So we have, we know we have, um, we have our values. We have 0 0.1 molar HA, acetic acid, where in this case A is equal to CH3CO2. <clears throat> and the problem says we have 0.12 uh, molar A minus, <clears throat> all in one liter, so we know it's, it's 0.1 molar and 0.12 molar. Those are our initial change equilibria. Here we have minus x. Here we have plus x. We're solving for hydronium ion. We're going to try to solve for that and see what that is. That's going to ultimately give us our pH. So um, we have our expression, Ka equals A minus H3O plus all over HA. And then we have, we're going to let this be negligible because we know the Ka for acetic acid is 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5. Then we just put our values in. A minus is 0 0.12. We're solving for x. We're dividing by 0 0.10. So we have 1.8 times 10 to the negative 6 is equal to 0 0.12. When I cross this over, that's 1 times 10 to the negative 1, which gives me 1.8 times 10 to the negative 6. And then I have this x. So I'm going to divide by 0 0.12, 0 0.12 to get x here. So let's see what x gives us. Get my calculator out. Uh, we know that the calculator is very important in a chemistry classroom. And uh, I always tell my students, um, you want to have your calculator when you come to class. I'm getting 1.5 times 10 to the negative 5. Um, that equals x. Okay? So that's what we get for x, and therefore, and therefore the pH is equal to the negative log, 1.5 times 10 to the negative 5. It's going to be 4 something. <clears throat> See, I do this, tell you to do it, and then I use somebody's calculator and I can't find the log function. I get 4.82 for the pH. <clears throat> okay, so let's see what happens when we add strong acid or strong base. <clears throat> so let's keep that in the back of our mind, 4.82 for the pH without. Let's put it over here. pH pH initial is equal to 4.82. At least that's what I got, okay? Now the next part of the problem says, uh, <clears throat> what is the pH of the buffer after the addition of 0.02 moles KOH? Okay, so what happens when we add 0.02 moles of KOH? Well, that's a strong base. And what does a strong base react with? A strong base reacts with a weak acid. Oh my gosh, he's chewing up the pin. Hold on. Uh, shoot, I hope that wasn't anybody's important. Oh man, does anybody want a dachshund? Because uh, it's really horrible when you have a dachshund and he does this to everything. He just chewed up my new my husband's Bible, um, which I had left on the table uh, a couple of days ago. So, so now we have a King James Version, which has the Old Testament and New Testament with the Old Testament a little bit chewed up. Not too much, but a little. Okay. Anyway, that's what Krause does. All right. So, 
Um, now we're going to add 0.01 molar uh, potassium hydroxide. So what I like to do is I always say an acid reacts with a base. So I look at my major players. These are my major players. The weak acid whoop, and the conjugate base in the buffer. Those are our major players. So we're going to ignore we're going to ignore the water water we're going to we're going to ignore this because we want to see what the strong acid or the strong base is reacting with. Krause, if you get another pen, I'm going to whip your butt. Okay, so anyway, excuse me. Anyway, we have KOH. I'm going to use a black because I think the green is probably not very good for this. So we have uh, KOH uh, plus HA, which is, this is the base, this is the acid, this is going to go to a salt plus water. Alright, so you see, see what the KOH is going to do, it's going to consume some of the acid that I have available. And then what it's going to do is it's going to produce some more of the conjugate base. Hey, hey, stop. Okay, so anyway, here's what we're going to do. We're going to say we have 0.01 molar KOH. What did we have initially of HA? Uh, we have 0.1. So this is going to completely react, no base left over, thankfully. If we had strong base left over, we'd lose our buffering capacity. Okay. Now we've got 0 0.09, and the buffering capacity is just how well the buffer behaves um, into the point where it doesn't function appropriately anymore. Okay, so anyway, uh, that gives us 0.09 moles of HA. Initially, how much A minus we had, we're going to ignore the spectator, potassium, sodium, all spectators. Uh, don't participate in the reaction, just kind of hang out, kind of like uh, Saints fans do when the Saints play. They can't participate, they can't help breathe, none of that. So they just have to sit there and watch the Saints lose. All right, so um, we started with. Uh, point, I'm getting 0 0.13 sodium acetate. Earlier I might not have put that, but here we're going to. Now, we're producing on this side, so we want a plus here. That's going to give us 0.14 Ka. We have our new values. Put them into the Ka expression. So we have Ka equal to A minus H3O plus all over HA and here's our values 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5 is equal to our Ka now is 0 0.1 potassium uh, acetate which this is acetate here for it we're in one liter remember these concentrations are in molarity moles per liter so that's why we can directly put these moles in if we were in two liters, we'd have to divide by two. Uh-uh. You're staying home tomorrow, bud. Okay. Um, for our acid, we have 0 0.09. Uh, we have 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5 times 0 0.09 uh, is equal to hydronium ion divided by 0 0.14. Did that real quick. Let's see what we get for that answer. Excuse me just a minute. Get my calculator. Can't leave home without it. Calculators are not like dachshunds. Dachshunds, you should leave home. <clears throat> Sorry, again, a new calculator. 
and it's not behaving properly. Hold on just one second. Okay, that is what I'm getting, and I don't know why it doesn't look right. Let's try it again. It's always important to check your answer, and if it doesn't look right, do it over again. And now I'm getting 1.16 times 10 to the negative 5. 1.16 times 10 to the negative 5 for hydronium ion. Let me go over here. Can you see me? Yes. So the pH is still 4, which is good, because we, we don't want it to, you know, we don't want it to drop too much. Remember, we got plus or minus one pH unit to maintain that range. I get 4.93. So now I have a pH equal to 4.93. Does that make sense to you? That you would add strong base, sodium hydroxide, and the pH would go up. Yeah, yeah, it does. Because um, bases are, uh, bases raise the pH, and acids lower the pH. So remember, anything less than 7 is acidic. Anything greater than 7 is um, basic. So we'll put that here. Um, after addition, after adding a KOH, we're getting 4.93. Now the next case we're going to do is we're going to add H+. Plus. So let me erase this real quick, and let's see what we're going to add. I bet we're starting with the initial same, same old, same old. So let's see what we get when oh, we add H+. Plus. All right, now that we're adding H+, plus, we're going to have to revise this a little bit, because H+, plus is not going to act, react with HA, because they're the same. Um, H+, plus plus H plus, same charges repel each other, um, you need a plus to react with a minus. So what is H plus going to react with? Uh, when we add a strong acid, it's, it needs an A minus. It needs a minus. Plus reacts with minus, minus reacts with plus. That's the way life is. You look at uh, Dixon. Uh, him and uh, his girlfriend are total opposites, but they get along great. They get along great. Actually, she's over at his house right now, and he can't get rid of her. So, anyway, um, we are going to add 0.02 molar nitric acid. Now, nitric acid is one of those seven strong acids. going to completely ionize 100%. And all of that 0.12, no? All of that 0.02 molar nitric is going to go directly to H+. So, what we have now is H+, 0.02, will react with, remember, plus reacts with the minus, to give you HA, that. Okay? We know initial concentrations of this were what? In our buffer, initially we had um, 0.13. Over here, initially we had 0.10, I believe. Yeah, point, point, um, 0 0.10. So again, we're subtracting on the left, we're adding to the right.
So our new values in our buffer are these. Okay? So now we have 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5 is equal to A minus H plus. We'll put H3O plus because we know it's not a ball naked proton, but that proton likes to hang on to water just like we all do. Um, you look at our bodies and we're made up of a lot of water, so we hold a lot of water just like protons like to grab onto water. Um, HA down here. So we have 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5 is equal to 0 0.11. And remember again, x over 0 0.12. Remember, we are in 1 liter, so we don't have to worry about our molarity. 0.8 times 10 to the negative 5 times 0 0.12 equals x over 0 0.11. Oh, goodness, what did I do with my calculator? Here it is, hiding from me, thankfully. Krause didn't get it. Uh, we have one dead dog on our hands, which isn't good, because that's uh, animal abuse, and I try as hard as I can not to abuse my animals. It gets hard, um, especially when you have three. Um, I'm getting 1.96 times 10 to the negative 5 for x. So x we have is equal to 1.96 times 10 to the negative 5. So the pH here equals the negative log of 1.96 times 10 to the negative 5, which is going to, again, be somewhere around 4. It's going to be less than 4.82. I know that because that's exactly what we started with. And we added acid, so we should be less. I'm getting approximately 4.9. I don't remember what we got there. I'm going to stop here today because um, I think that's enough for one day. And uh, I just showed you how to calculate um, the pH after you add an acid, a strong acid or a strong base to a buffer. And next time um, I will show you um, how to titrate acid and bases. And before I go, let me just say one other thing. Notice something I didn't use here. I never used the henderson hasselbalch equation. Now, um, that is in your book. You can read about it. You don't have to use it if you know Ka. If you understand the equilibrium expression, number one, and number two, if you understand what goes on in the chemistry. If you understand what goes on when the species dissolve in each other and which species reacts with which species, which is the chemistry behind it. Uh, chemistry is a beautiful thing and I'd, I'd like you to think about that today. Anytime you're feeling down or sad or you just need a, a positive thought to lift you up, Think about chemistry. Thank you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.